I was 11, my mom and I will evangelize strangers on the street, ask them, would you like to receive Jesus Christ in your heart? I thought that one day I will become a pastor and will travel around the world preaching the word of the Lord. In high school, I was in a youth group, and then that's when I saw him. I thought he was the most attractive guy I have ever seen in church. I didn't think he'd be interested in me. He was older. But then we started chatting on Facebook, then text messages, then calls. So we started talking every day. I had no idea what dating meant, just that it was you could have somebody to text until you fell asleep, hold hands, watch a movie with and perhaps have sex. I thought that sex was a requirement to have in a relationship. And I was like, yes, I can't wait to have that fabulous sensation that everyone talks about. My church had always told me that sex was about marriage and making love. I was somewhat excited, but not 100% sure because I had no idea what to expect. At the time, I did not know a penis got hard. I was being polite and asked him, can I touch your penis? I really want to know what it feels like, but I'm scared it's going to bite my hand off. Oh, I don't think I will ever forget that. <laughs> a week later, I was at a coffee shop with my mom, and we started talking things of, about my life. Then she started asking questions about my relationship with my boyfriend. I love you very much, and I really don't want anyone hurting you. Have you done anything with him? She asked. It was more like a statement than a question to me. We've always been really close, so I felt secure and nodded my head, thinking that everything will be all right. She started to cry. How could you do that? I thought you were gonna wait till you were married. What are you pregnant? What if you have an HIV or an SCI? Then what? You just ruined your life. I started to cry. I was so ashamed. I thought I was the worst child in the world. How could I hurt her so much? No wonder why at church they teach you to wait until you're married, I thought. But that didn't last long. At the end of the year, I had a new boyfriend. I stopped going to church. But even in my new relationship, I will feel sometimes ashamed for trying to explore my sexuality. It wasn't until three years later that I learned how to really enjoy my sex life that it was completely natural and nothing to be ashamed of. I began volunteering at Teen Health Source, and my mom has been pretty supportive about it, and even curious. She's still iffy about it, but now I'm the one teaching my mom about sexual health. It makes me happy to know I have a better communication with my mom than most people could hope for. Teen Health Source taught me a lot about sex, the male and female body, and better ways to talk about my sexual health. This is my story. What's yours? Have questions about sex, puberty, or relationships? Get the facts you need straight from the source. Type, talk, text. Teen Health Source.